it is uh, finally time to do my May TBR. This is a little bit late, but I had a lot of family stuff going on that kind of took priority. So let's get into this. I read 10 books this month. Seven were physical, um, two were ebooks, and one was audiobook. So May was supposed to be all about finishing series for me. I only finished two series. Only two out of like the six, seven, or eight that I had planned. But anyway, the first series that I finished was the Harbinger series uh, by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The first one is Storm and Fury. The second one is Rage and Ruin. And the third one is Grace and Glory. So these three books, I love them. They're spinoff of the White Hot Kiss series. I can't remember what that series is called. But this one focuses on Zane and a new character. Oh God, what's her name? what is her i can it's on the tip of my tongue trinity i knew it was something with the t um and in this series she can see ghosts and she's living with wardens and she's kind of also losing her eyesight because of an eye disease that she has so there's representation for that um but i absolutely love this trilogy i was reread the first two and then i finally got to read this last one the ending was perfect i gave all of them five stars i just i adore this world so so much and in the last one i can kind of see how she could set up a third series in this world i could see it and i will forever hope for it but i don't think it's gonna happen which is very very sad but i do recommend reading all the books in this world because they are so much fun such quick reads and like honestly they're kind of like good quick entertaining palette cleansers if like you're in between like really complex fantasy or sci-fi um but yeah i highly recommend these the next series i finished was the aurora rising series the first book is aurora rising the second book is aurora burning and the third book is roars and these two were rereads and i was reading this one for the first time i gave first two five stars and I gave the last one four stars um I absolutely adore the first two they are so much fun they are space adventures um it's found family the group in this they are kind of like the thrown to the side no one really wants them space cadets and they form a team once they graduate the space academy and the main uh, one of the main guys in there here who was their leader um tyler he finds a girl in a broken down ship in a cryo cryo, cryo chamber um and that is aurora and she's different she has a different like her eye her one eye is a different color you can see it there and the pocket's a lot deeper than that the ending of the last book the reason it is not a five star series completely is i thought it was very cliche it, I'm not going to say what it was because I don't want to do spoilers, but it was a very, very cliche way to end things and solve things. I do like how we got to see some things wrap up, especially with Rora. And I, I see, I can't really say it because spoilers, but I do like some of it. I just don't like how cliche it was. I thought it could have gone a different way. I thought it could have been a more complex ending. It just seemed way too easy to me. Um, but I still do recommend the series. It's a lot of fun. First two are amazing. Last one is still good, but just not amazing. Um, but yeah, if you want fun sci-fi that's easy to read, I highly suggest these. The last physical book that I read was Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. Um, this is about Hallie and Julian. Hallie is a gardener and she's kind of all over the place doesn't like com committing to things can't make up her mind things like that and julian is a very stick to a schedule type of guy um so they're very opposite she's sunshine he's grumpy it's in takes place in napa valley so it's in the wine country and like napa obviously is very popular for all the wine wineries there but like it still has that small town feeling which i absolutely adore i really did enjoy this book i ended up giving it four out of five stars um, just there was something missing in it. I don't really know what, but it just wasn't fully five stars. Um, I did like the spicy scenes, not my favorite by Tessa Bailey, but still pretty good. Um, I also just love the banter, um, between the two characters and at one point they're writing secret admirers letters to each other. And I mean, she knows everything that's going on, but he doesn't. 
and it's just it's a very cute fast read so if you like tessa bailey definitely check this one out and the sequel unfortunately yours is officially out it came out june 6th i've actually already read that um that'll be my june wrap up but it was very very good too and it's just it's a cute duology i really enjoyed it Okay, so let's get into the ebooks and the audiobooks. The first ebook that I read was The Writing Retreat, and this is about a girl who gets selected to go to this writing retreat. And when she gets there, she realizes things are kind of not right. Um, and everything's kind of off, and then some people start going missing, and and she also is there with her ex-best friend, which just makes things more tense. And it's a really, it was a really good thriller. I absolutely adored it. It's focused around writing, which I love books like that. I just think it makes it so much more interesting. Um, it was really creepy. It has that really messed up creepy atmosphere that I really like thrillers to have. Um, and it's like an isolated setting. You're just in this house. They actually get snowed into this house and they can't leave. So it's just, there's a lot of problems and issue that the main character has to face and overcome and i really really enjoyed it it was just really good um how many stars did i get it i ended up giving it five out of five stars um it, i just i loved it and so thank you neck alley for giving this to me to review it was so good um i do believe i have a full review of it up on my tiktok account not entirely sure but i think i did full review but yeah, it was just so good. I If you like the uh, thrillers or books surrounding writing books, I highly suggest it. The next book that I read was Dark Knight, Golden Dawn. And this book, it it's kind of hard to explain. It takes place in kind of like an urban fantasy setting. And there's all these different like sects of magical creatures. Like there's vampire, a vampire sect. There's witches. There's these luminaires. What is that the name of them? There's like these higher up type beings they think they're the best and they kind of rule everything um and it's a this book is about a witch and how she has to kind of start fake dating one of like the higher being type thing be people so she can help save her family store type thing um it is i end up giving it three out of five stars because it was kind of hard to get into the world was kind of hard to understand at first but once you do get into it and you get into the plot things do get easier to understand and it gets a bit more interesting um the ending kind of like i'm still going to continue on solely because of how it ended because it made me really intrigued for what's going to happen next um i think i actually got the second book on my kindle this um trilogy is on kindle unlimited so if you have kindle unlimited you can read it um i enjoyed it didn't love it didn't hate it um it's just it's kind of i just i had a hard time getting through it i really did but like once it was done with i was like okay i i do like it but it was a little bit rough but um i'm excited to see where the plot goes and the last book i read was on audiobook and it was long live the elf queen i started listening to this book in april march one of those months and I, I love it. I just never had time to listen to the audiobook. That's why it took so long. So this the second in this series. I thought it was a duology. It is not. It is going to be like a four or five book series. And the third book has not been announced yet, given a title, cover, anything. Um, and <laughs> the second book got wild. I think I gave it five out of five stars. It was so, so good. I loved it. I love the characters. Um, it was just I still think about the ending like it just blew my mind it was such a plot twist like I did not know that was gonna happen I saw nothing like I need to I need the next book because I need to know how the main character reacts to all this new information <laughs> um but yeah it is such a good duology I highly recommend it it's a great elf fey type book there's other creatures too there's like these these like dragon species that like they can shapeshift into dragons and we got to see a lot of them in this second book and it was so cool you got to see how different their world is and like their customs are and i loved it i would like to see more of the dragon people um but yeah so i highly suggest reading this series because it because it is turned out to be amazing 
So there are the 10 books I read in May. I didn't read as much as I normally do because I did have a week-long vacation in Nashville with my boyfriend, which was so much fun. Highly suggest going to Nashville. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, so that is my May wrap up. If you like this video, please like and subscribe down below and I will see you all next time. Bye.